Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book haul for you. It has been forever since my last book haul because I actually haven't traveled since my last book haul. And normally I film book hauls because I've been gone for like two or three weeks and I have like a whole backlog of packages that arrive and X, Y, and Z like that. But although I did go to Polycon recently, which is why I was like, oh, perfect time to film a book haul because I got a bunch of books at a Polycon. That also being said, this morning, I also received some packages and I was like, oh my God, perfect. It was meant to be, so here we are filming a book haul. I'm gonna start with the packages first and go through them. I've got one, two, I've got six, six. Three that I bought, three that I did not. We got a nice even amount here and then we're gonna get into all the books, which is a lot. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get to this package here, which is from Kay Bromberg. I already know because it says it on the package. So I know that this is a book I was sent from her. I'm guessing it's her newest release. Whoops. Which is, oh, it's a sexy looking man. That's what it is. Ho, 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 ho. I also have people coming over in like an hour and I'm gonna have all these empty boxes everywhere, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we have got Sweet Regret by Kay Bromberg and it also came with like this cute little, little, oh, a little like library loan. So you're following Vince, he has two loves in his life, music and Bristol. Bristol is a lawyer and she's assigned a new client who is Vince Jennings. The second chance romance, rockstar second chance romance. Rockstar romances can be very hit or miss, but I really do love um, Kay Bromberg's writing. Oh my gosh, she even signed it to me. And so this seems like it could be really cute. Then we'll get to this package here, which is from Lex Martin. Oh, look at the stuff that's in here. Oh my God, this is adorable. Oh my God, Zelda is gonna love, wow, damn. I've got two pens, two pens, which is always A plus useful. Then we've got some little, little, I forgot the word for, oh my God, I match the footballs. <gasps> my nails do everything matches these footballs. Okay, that's awesome. These are gonna be cute. Zelda's gonna love playing with this. I'm gonna chuck them on the ground. She's gonna go feral for them. And we also got two little, two little lippies. Lip, 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 uh, lip things. Lip balms, that's the word. And then, oh my God, everything's like, wow. Is this the same book twice? How is this? Wow, I wonder why. Ryder Kingston is the star quarterback. She lives across the street from him. Ooh, oh my God, until someone drops off a baby with a note pinned to her blanket. Oh my God, it says Ryder, one of his roommates is the dad. The problem is that the baby mama didn't mention which one. Oh my God, and one of his roommates is her brother. Oh my God, ah, that's so hilarious. Oh, he broke her heart three years ago. Oh, this sounds really good. Oh, this sounds very good. Oh, I'm excited for this. This is so up my alley. But you know what? I'm not gonna, oh sweet, these are magnets. I love magnets, magnets are great. Oh, hello. Madison, I hope you enjoy Ryder and Gabby's story. I included an extra set in case you want to do a giveaway. Well, I mean, yeah, I am now. I'll go do one on my Instagram. You're interested, go to my Instagram. I'll eventually be doing a giveaway of one of the extra copy of this. That's so sweet, oh my God. Okay, and then we have another package here, which is from Grace Riley. Oh, it's a box in a box, hello. All right, and this box is also, okay, so I will see. There we go. Oh, oh, hello gorgeous. This just in your new book, that's so cute. Oh yeah. So this says McKee University with a little hat on it. Oh, and I have a little note. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh my God. It has little stickers and stuff in it. Hi Madison, so excited to share Stealing Home and this box of goodies with you. I hope you enjoy Sebastian and Mia's story. Thank you for your support of authors. Aww. Oh, we got, we got an art print of our couple. They look attractive right there. Um, a little other extra thing. Oh, a little, a little, oh, a VIP pass to the football game. That is cute. Oh, a little NASA. I don't know, oh, that's like a sticker. That's like a, one of those like impressive special stickers, you know? Oh my God, we got, haha, we got some junior mints. That's great. I can keep those and give those to people who come over. And then, oh, cook with Sebastian. What is this? Like? Oh my God, there's little, little recipe cards in here that are based on what they cook in the book. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, this is so well thought out. We have Stealing Home, which is book three in the Beyond the Play series. Oh, and has a cute little, Adorable. Wow, this is a chunky monkey. This is thicker than our other ones. Oh, I love that. A plus. Oh my, oh, there's even something else at the bottom. Oh wait, where's the keychain? 
Oh, uh, lol, I closed my book to be here. That's so cute. Still, oh wow, it's a little little pamphlet. Okay, so it's telling you, Stealing Home. It's a college romance, sports romance, baseball, baseball this one is. Reverse Grumpy Sunshine, Force Proximity, their roommates. She's a bisexual STEM girly and he's an athlete guy who cooks. It's second chance. Um, he falls first. Oh, adorable! I'm excited for a ba you know what baseball romances there are so many lately everyone is talking about baseball romances this is nuts oh my god it's like the new trend I don't know if you guys have realized but I wow I really like this cap you know if it, wow a plus I'll totally wear that okay let me put this down as well now we're gonna get into into the boxes of stuff that I bought which actually is just a bunch of my Illumicrate and Fairy Loot special editions that I just have not opened yet because I am a lazy bitch from time to time and we accept that though. This is the first one. These are the Illumicrate ones. You have not seen them yet. So the cover looks the same although I don't know I think it's a bit different. Um, the back Illumicrate exclusive has like a fake SJM shiny signature on it but this is the main thing. Look at those sprayed edges. Aren't they sexy? Oh, deliciousness. Oh, 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 hello. Hang on. Actually, is this, is it supposed to be? Oh my God. Why, why can I not function? Oh, right now I remember. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a reversible dust jacket. Okay. So first off, isn't that absolutely stunning? The side there. Oh, it's so beautiful. A reversible dust jacket oh that's so pretty i living for this inside edge here we got la Haba, and then on this side we have got her again reading you know the real question is how many editions of crescent city do i now own do you guys want to guess i currently own the tour edition the uk edition the regular edition the paperback <laughs> the living ah why do i own so many editions I'm so problematic. Okay, then we have a second book here, House of Scoyum Ruth. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long, long vlog as I'm oh, long video. Okay, same situation. Got her name in a little gold on the back. So this is gold here. Oh, here are the edges. Here's the edges. A bit harder to see this time around. But oh wow, that's stunning. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> okay, first things first. Here we have the top, the side, and the back. And then let me show you guys what this looks like. That is stunning. Wow, that's so pretty. I am brain blanking on what that's supposed to be. Oh, they're so sexy. Look at them. Oh, delicious. Here is the reverse dust jacket up and this one kind of goes across. And then this also came with, um, this also came with overlays, the so page overlays. My hair is a mess. Okay, so we have page overlays for Crescent City and for House of Sky and Breath which I am not going to open because they're currently sealed in here and I feel like if I open it, I'm gonna fuck something up. So I don't really want to do. Another box from Illumicrate. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is my ninth house special editions, which I also have not opened until now because I'm also super lazy. No, nope, this is my regular box. Hmm. Hmm. Where is my, that's strange. Okay, here we have Fairy Loot. Now I'm pretty sure this is my, who did the ninth house editions? I'm pretty sure, now I'm just confused. Something's missing somewhere, clearly. Okay, this is my, this is my Fairy Loot. Yeah, these are my, these are my, this looks like my Crescent City set again. But where's my ninth house set? Hmm, that's a bit problematic. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Did that ship yet? Wow, oh my God, how did they, now they really, wow, they made it like a little, oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Crescent City, one, two, little houses, little things on the side there. Okay, here we go. Here we got book one. <gasps> it's not pretend. Oh, wow. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So here is House of Earth and Blood, which is book one. There is the spine. It says, through love, all is possible. And then here are the sprayed edges, which is stunning. Okay, no reverse dust jacket here, just regular dust jacket. But that is what the front looks like. You've got Bryce on it, and then it says, through love, all is possible on the back. And then here is, oh my God. Look how stunning they look. That is gorgeous. And then, oh my God. Wow. I recognize this artist. It's so nice. Damn. Book two. Wow, that's also stunning. So, House of Sky and Breath. There is what the spine looks like. Light it up. 
Here are the sprayed edges. Oh, it's so, wow, that's stunning. Oh my God. Here we have the front, which has got Hunt on it. And then the back here, we've got Light It Up. The spine looks like, and then ready. Oh my God, this is so, she looks gorgeous. <gasps> Look how gorgeous that is. That's stunning. And then here we have, oh, I got a little off oh, my babies. Best purchases ever. I've been buying a lot less special editions, but these were, these were definitely worth all my money. Let's get into, uh, all my books. First things first, I know I mentioned it earlier, because I unboxed the, 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 yeah, by Grace Riley, we've got First Down and Breakaway, which is books one and two in her, like, college romance series. So this one here is about a girl tutoring the star quarterback, and this is a secret friends with benefits arrangement with a coach's daughter. All right, let's try and get this guy. So I bought Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas for myself, which, oh, I didn't realize I had these tabs in here, which I read in a recent vlog. If you have not seen my Birthday Girl vlog, I do recommend it. It was super fun. It does have spoilers in it though. I also got a finished copy of The Plus One by Maisie Eddings, which I got, this I got signed at a Polycon. Well, shit, okay. Give me a second. Um, this is about uh, these two childhood enemies deciding to fake date to go to a wedding because they have like their own reasons. Her ex is gonna be there with his new girlfriend and he has PTSD from being a doctor overseas and doesn't like wanna talk about it. So that's what that is about. Then I got Flawless. This was sent to me, huh. I was gifted this. I'm pretty sure I was gifted this by Lulu. But I was gifted Flawless by Elsie Silva, which is book one of the Chestnut Spring series, which I absolutely adore, five star read. It was, it, until recently, the last five star read I actually read back in February, which is crazy, crazy news. But she is, works for a PR company and he's a bull rider and it's so good. I highly recommend this if you have not read it. It is definitely not overhyped at all. Totally worth the hype, absolutely phenomenal book. A plus recommendation there. Then we have, I don't think, I don't think I've bought this. We have The Auction and the Vow by Maggie Cole. This is about uh, this guy who ends up at an auction. He ends up buying his enemy's daughter and like heading her for like a weekend and then it's their romance. I'm pretty sure there's like kind of criminal underworld vibes to it, like billionaire charity things. So I haven't read this series yet. I've heard really amazing things about it. I actually have never read from Maggie Cole before, but I've got some really good friends who absolutely adore everything that she puts out. So I do want to get to that and I think it could be really fun and very good. We have my Zodiac Academy books. We've got Zodiac Academy 1, which I read and vlogged and Zodiac Academy 2, which I haven't read and vlogged yet. Super exciting. I do hope to read it soon um, and do a vlog for it. So you guys will be seeing that. But this here was gifted to me by, I always put the notes somewhere randomly in the book. Hang on. This was gifted to me by Kylie from Buried Within Pages. So thank you all for sending that to me. Then I also got sent um, this Corinne Michaels little novella. It's Tiny AF, but it's a novella that follows um, the kids from two of her different series, which is super fun. And I really adored, you know, getting to that. Okay. Then we have got Runaway Love by Melanie Harlow, which is the most recent five star read that I have read. I absolutely adored the ever loving shit out of this book. Melanie Harlow did send me a copy, um, which was really, really sweet of her after I finished it. A little PR box, which I showed on my Instagram stories, I believe. And this follows a runaway bride who ends up becoming a nanny for this single dad in a small town. And it's super spicy, super hilarious, A plus recommendation. Please pick this up if you have not. Um, it's like one of my top reads probably of this year for sure. Then we have One Packed Up Pack by Sarah Blue. This is actually a special edition. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like this gloss on it that kind of makes it look like it's ice. And this is a reverse harem Omegaverse hockey romance. It is a bit more on the emotional side and does have um, a trigger warning in it for death of a parent. So if those are triggers for you, please do know that. But I really enjoyed that. Then we have Beauty in the Ashes by Macaulay Smeltzer. Macaulay did send this to me. This is a revamp of like her book. This has already been out before. So this follows a guy whose entire family was murdered. Like his life went to shit. He paints, but he's like, you know, just not really doing well. And then there's a girl named Sutton who moves across the hall for him. And the two of them end up falling in love. And it's like kind of that forced proximity romance. The two of them have like their own like issues. And I'm excited for this. I really love Macaulay Smotz's writing and her books, even though I've only read, I think three of them and I need to read more. So like, you know what I mean? Then I was gifted um, Unbroken Bonds and also Tragic Bonds, which is books five and six in the Broken Bonds series by Galanab. So thank you so much for sending me these. I absolutely adore this series. This is my, I've got book one here as well, Broken Bonds, which is how this series starts. This is actually my favorite series that I have read this year. And this is probably my top books of 2023, unless something else like outstanding happens. I don't think anything else I read this year is gonna stand up to this, which is kind of unfortunate because 
These were literally the first books I read of this year. I have an entire reading vlog reading them as well. No spoilers if you do want to check that out. So I do recommend it. I have this special edition set of the Madison Kate series that Fit Teacher Rachel did, which I bought off her and I'm absolutely obsessed. As you guys know, the Madison Kate series is like my favorite series of all time. So let me show you guys. Here we have book one, which is Hate. Then here we have book two, which is Liar. And then we've got book three, which is Fake. And then we've got book four, which is Kate. And then we've got the novella, which is called Vault. But you can't read the novella until after you've read her Hades Quartet. So do know that. I'm also going to put these back on my shelf because it bothers me that they were not there, but I had to take them out. And I didn't like that there was this massive hole behind me. But alas, it's a book called What You Wanna Do. Um, but my, my editions are a little bit more messed up, so like the book actually starts randomly on page 35 here, which is totally fine, because that means I got them for a discounted price, um, which is nice. And plus I'm not going to actually read them, they're just you know to have on my shelves. Then we have Her Soul to Take by Holly LaRue, which is book one in the Souls trilogy, which I started reading the other uh, couple weeks ago, and just I think I read like the first couple of chapters just to kind of see if I enjoyed it, and I really did. I was busy though, and I didn't like end up finishing it, but I really should now that I think about it. I was gifted this by, um, shoot, where's the little thing? I remember I was gifted this by one of you guys as well, because it was someone who, um, it, ooh, that was a spicy soon. Um, was gifted by one of you guys who always comments on my videos, but I forget what your actual name is, because when you sent me this, it had your actual name on it, and I don't remember what that is. I'm so sorry. I literally, I'm, I'm, I feel like a horrible human being right now. I normally put the, I think because you sent me two books at once, that I think I put the note in the other book, um, so I don't have that on me, which is now saddening me. Then we have Lavender Moon by Sarah Blue. This is a Omegaverse book by Sarah Blue. It's a standalone Omegaverse. Really cool. Um, it's like a dual cover. So they're both sides is like just the book. And this is about, uh, it's an Omegaverse book, but actually one of the guys in her pack is actually her stepbrother. So I was a little, a little bit forbidden there. Um, then the most recent book that I bought myself, which is Shallow River by H.T. Carlton. I'm currently reading this. I hope to finish it maybe this week. <gasps> Why do I keep opening these books up to the spicy scenes? I literally cannot even. What is up with me? Why don't you do this? Um, but this is H.T. Carlton's, like, one of her very first books that she wrote. And it's about this girl who is in an abusive relationship. And she ends up actually falling in love with her abusive boyfriend's adopted brother. And it's a bit hard hitting. It's not as, not like dark, dark, like fucked up dark like her other books are, but still dark in the sense of like serious topics. Um, so I mean, re reading it currently and I'm really enjoying it. Then Kat Singleton sent me Rewrite Our Story, which is her new um, Sutton Mountain series, which is a small town romance. This one I believe is Second Chance. I've seen so many people reading this and raving about it. I also just adore the ever loving shit out of Kat Singleton. She is phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. Um, I'm pretty sure. The guy in this is actually maybe a billionaire too. I don't remember. I don't remember. But also look how pretty the inside is. That is absolutely stunning. So this is like one of the next books I actually have to read on my TBR as well. Then I was sent Against the Clock by Brittany Kelly. This sounds like it's going to be so good. So it's about a guy who is a quarterback and he's falling in love with a reporter. Which I feel like I actually haven't read that before when it comes to sport romances. That's like a trope that I haven't like seen. And so I'm really, really excited to get into that. Also, it came with this bookmark that says, um, be a good girl and use the bookmark, which I thought was fucking hilarious. And so I'm excited. I've got so many books I want to read. Let's be, let's be serious. Also, there are spoiler warnings in here for what the content warnings are, which it's so funny because I was looking at the content warnings and one of them says, first off, parental illness is a trigger warning in here. And so is cyberbullying. But it says light kink as a content warning <laughs> which i've never seen before i've never seen light kink then i was sent unfortunately yours by tessa bailey this is the second book in this series by tessa bailey i actually haven't read the first one yet but i've heard mixed reviews on it so i think i might just jump into this one which releases on june 6 and it is a marriage of convenience between a napa valley like heiress and he is oh he owns a vineyard but doesn't know anything about actually making wine and so they're going to do like a sham wedding and all this kind of stuff so I'm excited. I feel like that should be a really good one. Then I think we get into my a polycon haul. Okay, cool. Perfect. Ugh, so much to look at. So, um, I bought two books while I was at a polycon. No, I bought three books. I bought three books while I was at a polycon and then everything else just kind of happened. So the three books that I bought, the first one is The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. So got this and she, she signed it, of course, all, all these are signed. Um, 
But this is a frat boy romance. I'm pretty sure um, he's actually like an ex or the two. I'm pretty sure the two people that this is about, um, they're both, I think... They end up becoming like porn stars or they're both like cam, like a cam guy and a cam girl. Like after they go get kicked off campus, they end up like going and doing that instead, which is really exciting. And I'm so pumped to read this. So this is book four in the series. I've got books one through three here. I've only read the second book actually in the series, surprisingly enough, but I absolutely adore this. So every single time I go and she's a new book out, I always get it. You guys all really wanted me to read this. I didn't actually get to it before a polycon, but because everyone literally, when I said I was going to read this, everyone was freaking out about it. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it when I got there. And she signed it. She's the nicest handwriting. So I still don't really understand what this is about, but it's about this girl who goes to like a university that is kind of for like basically delinquents. She, I'm pretty sure, it's a ref, yeah, it's a reformatory college in the UK. And she ends up falling in love with this guy, and it's just, you know, I don't know. That's all I know about it. And you guys all said I should definitely read it. And the last book that I bought was. To Bleed a Crystal Bloom by Sarah A. Parker. I, when I was at Polycon, actually worked, I was Megan Quinn's assistant, and next to Megan Quinn was Sarah A. Parker. And I saw all these people in line for her, and everyone was talking about it, and I was like, wow, this must be a good book. And she's also from New Zealand, so I was like, screw it, I wanna get it. Um, and so she did sign it for me. But actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a, yeah, this is a dark fantasy Rapunzel retelling. I oh, know, I'm so intrigued. So I'm gonna read this and we'll see if I like it. This cost an arm and a leg. This was so expensive to buy, but no, I did anyway, but yeah. And then all the other books from a polycon. So I got Be Still My Heart by Emily McIntyre and Sav R. Miller. Sav R. Miller was there, so she signed this for me, um, which is really cute. So I actually don't know what this is actually about. Let's find out. So this is set in Maine and it's known for lobsters and it's broken lighthouses, but then um, there's a corp corpses start showing up in the water and Lincoln Porter, who is a grumpy ex-seal, whose lobstering fish business seems to be attracting more dead bodies than fish, and then a homicide expert, Detective Sloan, who's called in to assist the case, and the two of them end up working together in the same room. Oh, damn, how interesting. I have no idea what this is gonna be like, but I'm intrigued. Ex-Navy seal, lobster dude, and a detective. Um, then we have A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker which is a fantasy romance. I don't actually know anything about this either. Wow, this is gonna be a mess. So Romaria is a gifted thief and she steals jewels from the rich um, under the employ of New York City's most notorious crime boss. Um, but then she's plunged into a startling realm of opposing thrones, warring elven and elemental magic. How does that even happen? Her quest is straightforward, steal a stone from the secret garden without anyone discovering her identity, otherwise she'll be killed. But the identity she has assumed is of a princess who actually died after being poisoned and she now has to pretend to be um, betrothed to the crown prince. Oh, fun. Yeah, I haven't, ooh, I've seen pretty, I've seen this around a bunch and just have never gotten to it. Well, wow, I love these are fantasy romances. How did this all actually, well, you know what happens? Actually, I feel like Polycon's very fantasy romance, like heavy. Then we have Everyone of Roses by K.F. Breen, which I, you know, got signed. A lot of people have talked about this book. This is a Beauty and the Beast dark fantasy. Um, you know, let's feel like that's all you really have to know about that. Then we, I got a Caught This Cruel and Lovely by Stasia Stark. So this is about a world where people are born with magic, but the gods actually siphon out the magic and leave people powerless. But this girl ends up not having that happen to her and she ends up escaping and having her magic and she ends up having to make a deal with a mercenary and she'll help him and his friends into, like, sneak into the city and he'll help her learn how to wield her dark magic. What well, sounds cool. Wow, I'm gonna be, I need to read a lot of fantasy clearly soon. <gasps> I have more books in my backpack, Madison. Oh my God, you guys, I forgot about five extra books. Like what? All right, okay, hang on. This I know nothing about. It's called The Longing of Lone Wolves. It's by Lana, I can't say her last name, but it's a special edition. It's really pretty and it's even got like these gold, like shiny blue edges, but I don't know what the book is about because it doesn't say anything anywhere. I'm guessing it's about wolves and magic. Then I got The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert, which is actually a lot shorter than I thought it would. Like, oh, look how small that is. But this is obviously a monster romance. It's a given. Look how pretty that cover is. Wow, it's so stunning. Then, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. Then we have Filthy Sinner by Serena Ackeroyd, which is part of her like mafia romance series. Oh, so it's about a girl whose dad tries to force her to marry one of his cronies and she ends up running away to her half brother's home and her half brother is a black sheep of the family and a biker and an Irish mobster. Wait, she is married to her half brother? Oh. 
No, someone else who's there. Whew, that would have been really, I would have been like, oh, I'm not reading that. That's a little too taboo to me. Um, but this is about, the, she gets arranged, she gets into a magical convenience with some guy who's part of the mob so she can avoid her dad marrying her off. Oh my gosh. Then we have Ruining Dahlia by C.R. Jane. I literally love C.R. Jane so much. Did she? She signed this as well. She said, love you. Um, she's the sweetest. I keep seeing her at all the conventions I go to. And this is a reverse harem mafia romance. I know. Wow. And it matches my outfit too. Literally, like, don't even know anything else. It's reverse harem mafia. Psh, sold. Here we have Feather by Olivia Waldenstein. She was literally one of the nicest human beings I met, like, the entire time I was there. She was so sweet. She's also gorgeous AF. Um, and this is a fantasy romance about a girl who is an angel and in order to gain her wings... She has to make this guy do some good deeds, and this guy, though, is, like, bad. Um, which is a very crude explanation, I feel like. Then I got The Accidental Pinup by Danielle Jackson, which is about two rival photographers who are forced to collaborate on a body-positive lingerie campaign. I just really like the cover for this, so I was really excited. Then we have My Lucky Number 13 by Piper Rain. Um, which is book one in her hockey romance series. So it's about this guy who New Year's Eve has like has sex with this girl. The next day he like does really well in his game and he begins to think that like she's his lucky charm and is like, hey, we need to have sex every single time I have a game so that I can keep winning. And I was like, oh my God, LOL. Then we have here um, Magical Midlife Madness by KF Breen. So it's this woman who's 40 years old and she decides to move to a tiny house and so when she's 40 years old after her husband, you know, leaves her and her son goes to college, she's like, I'm going to start over my life, move to this small town, and she's going to, like, take over this, like, centuries-old house. It's supposed to be temporary, except for the fact that, I guess, some, like, magical things start happening. I don't know. This was just included, and I just ended up with it, so. Here we have an arc of one of the new Bramble books, which is Calamity by Constance Fay, and it is interstellar romance and sci-fi romance. And then here I got an arc of Fall of Wrath and Ruin by JLA. So you find Callista who is hidden as a courtesan of the Baron of Archwood. In exchange for his protection, she gives him information. And then she ends up saving a traveling prince. And, you know, I guess it was their romance. I don't know. I'm intrigued. It's new, new JLA book. So I know everyone's like freaking out about, you know, all of her stuff. I've only actually ever read one book by JLA and that was... From Bud and Ash, which I enjoyed, but I didn't love. Anyway, I got this special edition of book two in the From Bud and Ash series, I think, which is called A Light in the Flame. No, isn't the second book a kingdom of... I don't know what this book is. Oh, this is this is the other... This is a spin-off series, I think. Anyway, it's super gorgeous. Look how beautiful this is, and it's so stunning. And it is signed. This is a Napoleon exclusive if you were a Titan member, which are uh, who was. And then I got this um, a Polycon exclusive Mountain made of, Ma Mountains Made of Glass novella from Scarlet St. Clair. This is a gr dark, grim fairy tale retelling and it's fantasy and it's super smutty, which, you know, we love that. Here we go. This is the Polycon exclusive of, of A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which is book two in the Full Mad and Ash series. This is just what the special edition looks like. Then, also part of it was this Frost and Fire special edition as well, which was an exclusive for the brunch. And it's a bind up of her books, Frigid and Scorched, which I've never read before. I just have a lot of JLA stuff here. And the last book I have to haul for you guys is Right Man, Right Time by Megan Quinn, which I'm so excited to read. It's a hockey romance. It's part of her like series. I've heard really amazing things about this. And Megan Quinn was just literally the most amazing fucking person I've ever met in my entire life. I know I've said that about a lot of people, but I literally loved working for her that weekend. It was so much fun. She was so amazing. And this book here has been doing really well. I've seen everyone kind of talking about it, but there's actually another book in this series. It's called Three Little Words. It has this bright fucking pink cover. I really want to read it just because it's such a gorgeous book. Like I was sitting there the entire time and people were like in their copies signed and I go, I want that book. I want it so bad because it was just so pretty. Running into your ex is never ideal. Running into your ex who is now dating your nemesis is a literal nightmare. And so she ends up in a fake relationship with a professional hockey player a few years older than her to like get out of everything. And so I'm very excited for that. All right. That was a debacle and a half. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that was my book haul. Um, I don't even know how many books I had here. Let's count. Forty nine books. I'm gonna round up to fifty for this video because saying forty nine is stupid. And it should have been fifty one technically if I could have figured out. Oh no! Actually, those other books. 49, 50, 51. 
52, actually, if you count the two editions of the book I got. 52, there we go. Much better. Now I can say this book haul was over 50 books. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like button down below. If you want to see more of me, please go to my channel. And until next time, thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.